Find Amanda. Who is Amanda? She is a character that we haven't been introduced to yet. But we're Connor again. The homie Connor the Savage. This is my guy. This is a beautiful place though. What is this place? I have so many questions right now. Um, am I going the right way? Hold on. I think I'm walking in a circle. Let me. Yep, she's up there. She's over there glowing. I, I see you, girl. Here I come. Just give me a few seconds. I'm almost over there. Hey, that's the sister. What's good, Amanda? Hello, Amanda. Connor, it's good to see you. Congratulations, Connor. Finding that deviant was far from easy. And the way you interrogated it was very clever. You've been remarkably efficient, Connor. Thank you, Amanda. We've asked the DPD to transfer it to us for further study. It may teach us something about what happened. The interrogation seemed... challenging. What did you think of the Deviant? It showed signs of PTSD after being abused by its owner. As if its original program had been completely replaced by new instructions. This... Lieutenant Anderson has been officially assigned to the Deviancy case. What do you make of him? I think he's irritable and socially challenged. But I also think he used to be a good detective. He's an intriguing character. Unfortunately, we have no choice but to work with him. What do you think is the best approach? Learn to adapt? I will adapt to his personality. It is in the best interest of the investigation that I avoid conflict and try to accommodate his psychology. That just went down. We have to work with him though. Shouldn't I adapt? More and more androids show signs of deviancy. There are millions in circulation. If they become unstable, the consequences will be disastrous. You're the most advanced prototype Cyberlife has ever created. If anyone can figure out what's happening, it's you. You can count on me, Amanda. Go, go, Power Rangers. Hurry, Connor. There's little time. Man, I'm just blown away by the details in this every time. Can I help you? I'm here to see Lieutenant Anderson. Do you have authorization? Yes. Lieutenant Anderson hasn't arrived yet, but you can wait at his desk. Hey, though. Are you trying to go to the eating club with me? Oh, this is dope. Just look at the detail in this damn game. This is amazing. Tensions in the Arctic have reached a new level. A they worked hard to bring us this amazing game. You gotta, you gotta breathe it in, man. Oh, it's so me. I'm about to be nosy. Hold on. Ask about the. No, we gonna wait on that because I wanna be nosy. Can I go through their desk? What can I take? Oh, that's a lot of them, too. Okay. It's time to probe. Wait, what? So these are all... Yeah. These are all name tags. Yeah. Forget it. It's not what I thought it was. I'm looking for Lieutenant Anderson's desk. As the situation develops. It's that desk right there. Why, thank you. 
you beautiful Nubian goddess. <laughs> God damn it, Carl. Carl. Yo, this is just sad because this just sh goes to show that life can hit you hard at any moment. Life is so unpredictable. We were coming back from what was it? The little paint thing? The art show or whatever? You know, and we were just talking about those rich snobs and everything. He was about to have a drink, probably laugh at him some more, and call it a night. Boom. Minutes later, he's dead. That is just sad. That isn't right. But hey, he didn't let him being in a wheelchair stop him from doing what he loved to do. So I really respect that about that man. Even though it is a video game, I respect the hell out of that. And it's a lot of people in, in real life that do that, man. That shouldn't be able to do the things they do, but they still do it. So like, respect to all those people, man. Excuse me. Do you know what time Lieutenant Anderson usually arrives? Depends on where he was the night before. If we're lucky, we'll see him before noon. Thanks. Hmm. Okay. This guy just does whatever he wants to do. Explore new office. Okay, let's stand up. Actually, yeah, we're, we're going to go through Hank's stuff because we don't know anything about Hank. Can we find some dirt on Hank? Yeah, because like next time he wants to talk crazy, we can just hit him with a crazy comeback like, Hey, that's why you wear panties. He might have some panties in his desk or something. Who knows? Call Hank Anderson. Hi, this is Hank. Not here at the moment. You can leave a message if that's what turns you on, but don't expect me to call back. Beep. Whatever. Leave a message. Let's do that. Lieutenant Anderson, this is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. It's almost noon, and I'm waiting for you at the office. Oh, eight clues to analyze. Hell yeah. Yo, what's what's up with cops and the donuts? What's up with that? I never really understood that. I know it's like tons of jokes about cops and donuts, but if I was a police officer, I would probably have chocolate chip cookies on my desk all the time. I don't I'm not like too large on donuts. Well chocolate donuts, they do be smacking, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna hold you, but chocolate chip cookies, hell yeah, that's what I would have. Donuts, dude. Is it because they could dip them in their coffee and stuff? But you can also dip cookies in. I don't know. Oh, he got a dog. Oh, that's a doggy dog. Tax force. Okay. So they were about getting those drugs off the streets. See, it seems like he used to be a stand-up guy. I wonder what went wrong. Learning more and more about him. Detroit basketball. Hmm, that's everything. Hey, I high key want that donut though, I'm gonna lie. Oh, he it's can't. Good to see oh, you again, okay. Lieutenant. Oh, Jesus. Hank! In my office. Ooh, you in trouble. <laughs> Didn't y'all hate that as kids? Ooh, you went. Like, why are you teasing me? Leave me alone. Shoot, sure, before you get an ass whooping, too. Hmm, do I want to explore or do I want to go be nosy? Will they kick me out if I go in there? Let's take the risk, I don't care. We've always had Old ladies losing their android maids and that kind of crap. But now, we're getting reports of assaults and even homicide like that guy last night. This isn't just Cyberlife's problem anymore. 
It's now a criminal investigation, and we've got to deal with it before the shit hits the fan. I want you to investigate these cases and see if there's any link. Why me? Why do I got to be the one to deal with this shit? I am the least qualified cop in the country to handle this case. But I know jack shit about androids, Jeffrey. I can barely change the settings on my own phone. Everybody's overloaded. I think you're perfectly qualified for this type of investigation. Bullshit! The truth is, nobody wants to investigate these fucking androids, and you left me holding the bag. CyberLife sent over this android to help with the investigation. It's a state-of-the-art prototype. It'll act as your partner. No fucking way! I don't need a partner, and certainly not this plastic prick. Hank, you are seriously starting to piss me off. You are a police lieutenant. You are supposed to do what I say and shut your goddamn mouth. You know what my goddamn mouth has to say to you? Okay. Huh? Okay. I'll pretend like I didn't hear that. So I don't have to add any more pages to your disciplinary folder, because it already looks like a fucking novel. This conversation is over. Jeffrey, Jesus Christ, why are you doing this to me? You know how much I hate these fucking things. Why are you doing this to me? Listen, I've had just about enough of your bitch. Either you do your job or you hand in your badge. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got work to do. I'm very pleased to have joined the team. I can assure you I'll do my very Close best. Close the door on your way out. <laughs> have a nice day, Captain. I always like the troll with Connor, like, make him be nice to people. Because when it, like, when he talks to people, he's always nice. But when it comes to being about that action, I turn him into a savage. That's when I do have control over things. I always turn him into a savage. But I wonder what the hell is going on with Hank. Hey, I can still explore, though, so I want to know what's in here. Do I got chocolate chip cookies in here? Cause I don't, I don't want no donuts. Fuck! Look at that. Our friend, the plastic detective, is back in town. Congratulations on last night. Very impressive. I know y'all got some famous Amos in that vending machine. No, y'all got them cookies in there. They smack. Hello, my name is Connor. Never seen an android like you before. Model are you? Bro, it says it right. I'm slow. RK800. I'm a prototype. A prototype? Android detective. So a machine's gonna replace us all. Is that it? Hey, bring me a coffee, dipshit. Get a move on! But you already have a coffee. I gave you an order. I'm sorry, but I only take orders from Lieutenant Anderson. Oh, oh. <laughs> this cup's right there. Oh, okay. Okay. When a human gives you an order, you obey. Got it? Stay out of my way. Next time, you won't get off so easy. It's okay, I'll let that one slide. Real tough of you. Thinking you bought it, bought it just cause your boys around. Yeah, your boys in blue are around. Real tough of you. Several sources report that there's no one on one. I whoop your ass. I don't care what they think about me. I'm not here around. for them. This not here to cater to them. Of an android being authorized to play an active role in criminal investigations. Didn't find anything too important. I get the impression my presence causes you some inconvenience, Lieutenant. I'd like you to know I'm very sorry about that. What's wrong with this man? In any case, I'd like you to know I'm very happy to be working with you. I'm sure we'll make a great team. Is there a desk anywhere I could use? No one's using that one. I wonder what happened to Hank. Like, did he lose a wife or a child or 
Is it an old case that he worked on that he's never recovered from? Like, did somebody die? Like, why is he the way that he is? You don't just wake up one day and just be like that. Like, he had a went through some stuff. You have a dog, right? How do you know that? The dog hair's on your chair. I like dogs. What's your dog's name? What's it to you? Sumo. I call him Sumo. Hey, we found a soft spot. Everybody loves dogs. You're a Detroit Gears fan, right? Denton Carter scored 53% of his shots from the three-point line yesterday. Did you see the game? That's what I was watching at the bar last night. Oh. Whoops. My bad. I didn't know that. A lot of people don't appreciate having androids around. I was wondering... Is there any reason in particular you despise me? Yeah. There is one. Alright, man. I've had it up to here with this guy. I don't want to speak to him anymore. It's like talking to a freaking wall. If you have any files on Deviants, I'd like to take a look at them. Terminals on your desk. Knock yourself out. All right. Let's get to work. Just go skim through all of this. Um, that'll be in order to try to strangle somebody. Okay. This is a long list too. Yo, wasn't she on that um that bus with Marcus at the beginning? Didn't I see her before? She looks familiar. God damn! Man, she fine as hell. I don't care what she did. She's innocent. I don't care. That woman is innocent. Is she trying to go to the eating club though? Two hundred and forty-three files. First dates back nine months. It all started in Detroit, and quickly spread across the country. An AX-400 is reported to have murdered a man last night. That could be a good starting point for our investigation. Hey. Oh, for real? This you on? They cut it with something. I know you didn't ask for this investigation, Lieutenant. Yeah, trying. But I'm sure you're a professional. Why don't you go fuck yourself? Alright, that's where I draw the line. No more. No more of that. I'll chase it up. I've been assigned this mission, Lieutenant. I didn't come here to wait until you feel like working. Listen, asshole. If it was up to me, I'd throw the lot of you in a dumpster and set a match to it. So stop pissing me off. But things are gonna get nasty. Uh, Lieutenant? I'm sorry to disturb you. I have some information on the AX-400 that killed the guy last night. It's been sighted in the Ravendale district. I'm on it. Wait, isn't that car? Oh, this is getting good. Know your partner. Yeah, there's no getting through to Hank. I don't know what to do at this point. It's like I'm done trying. It's like, hey man, we're not cool, we're not cool. Alright guys and gals. I'm going to end it right here. Be sure to click that bell so you're notified when the next part is uploaded.